afternoon, everyone. I'm Luciana, member of the organizing committee. I'm really, really glad to open the next section of our event, where we will certainly witness three amazing lectures. To start the talks, I'd like to introduce Professor Marcelo Cavalcanti, full professor of Universidade Estadual de Maringá. In general, his research investigates the behavior of the energy of distributed systems. So let's enjoy the lecture entitled Uniform Decay Rate Estimates for the Wave Equations with Subcritical Semilinearities and Locally Distributed Nonlinear Dissipation. Okay, thank you very much for the introduction. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank the organizers for this kind of invitation. It's a nice pleasure for me, for me to be here. Okay. Well, uh, this is a joint work with Valeria Domingos Cavalcante, my wife and partner from Brazil, Victor Hugo Gonzalez Martinez, also a Brazilian guy, and Turki Ozali from Turkey. This is the outline of my talk, description about my problem, the wave equation, previous results, main goal in methodology, the opposedness, and uniform the table to submit. I, I will try to I will try tell you about the, the, the proof, more or less. Okay. In the stock, our purpose is to study the opposedness and the key properties of solutions of the wave equation with subcritical semilinearities and locally distributed nonlinear dissipation. More precisely, we consider this problem. The functions f and j satisfy the following assumptions. My function f, my semilinearity of class C2, that vanishes in zero, and the function f and its derivative possess this growth condition. P satisfies also this condition. Uh, I will work in dimension three, so you realize that in dimension three, I cannot pass five as usual. That's why I'm subcritical. My primitive is non-negative. No and also F satisfied sign. And also I have this growth condition that comes from the exceptions. The hypothesis on my dumping terms was introduced by Lasieski and Tatar in 93, this well-coated paper. Here, we are loaded to growth a little bit, not subcritical at infinite, but in a power R, this R is at most, uh, at most three in dimension three, okay? cannot pass three. And it, it, this is out of the origin. Near the origin, I have a, a continuous concave institute increasing function H0 that satisfies these exceptions for S small enough. I use this notation to simplify it when I have A bounded by C plus B. And you will classify the nonlinear feedbacks of various growth rates by using the notion of polynomial order at infinite. A, mon a monotonic increasing map is of order big O né, R at infinite if it satisfies this growth condition. In order R is bigger than less than or equal to one, you say that the map F is superlinear, sublinear, or linearly bounded at infinite respectively. This terminology. Consider the, the, my damping function, the damping coefficient A that multiplies the damp term is a non negative and belongs to S2 of the closure of a capital omega, my domain. Moreover, A is positive in a neighborhood small omega. Okay? I have considered the anterior boundaries for simplicity.
I also assume in a general case, I'm, I'm working with the wave equation, but I can work in a inhomogeneous, in a homogeneous uh, domain on a Riemannian manifold. In this case, I have to assume a unit continuation property for V. The novelty here that V is L infinite, L infinite, because I will truncate our, our main problem. Instead of work on it, I will truncate my problem. Uh, as I told you, the results of this work extend to the case of non-constant coefficients as well. So I can, I can treat a many manifold or a non-homogeneous uh, medium. For potential zero, uh, our unit continuation property is satisfied by the results of left two notes of Burke and Gerard. They have a nice card in the base, so you can you cannot assume this is proved globally. The case of uh, I have also the paper of uh, Descartes, Shuzang, and Zhu as well, that they prove with coefficients uh, in a in homogeneous medium. You can also assume this. You know, I also have a, a result of a three G N and L. They, they work in Riemann and manifold as well. Previous results. Analyzing the behavior of solutions of the wave equation subject to a localized frictional dumping has been a major topic of interest for several decades. I started by my, by my Patrick Martinez made improvements from the point of the geometrical conditions and on the localization of the dumping and eliminate the polynomial growth assumption of the dumping at zero. So he improved the papers of a whole in Vilmos Commodity. So Domingos Cavalcante, Valeria, uh, uh, Ryuichi Fukuoka and Soriano, and myself, we treat the sharp results on first in surface and later on on compact Riemannian manifolds. There's also another paper of Alabo. In fact, there are two papers, one published in Applied Mathematical Optimization and the other one in GD in 2010. She obtained sharp of or quasi-optimal upper energy decay rates for a range of nonlinear feedbacks characterized by their behavior at the origin. There are some notable references on the subject. For instance, the paper of Bortot, Correa, Dominique Travolcante, published in JDE 2013. It's an amazing paper of Dallawart, Lazarus, Kitton, the Cop, the Spirit to Continue the Dynamic Process in 2009. This paper of Le Beau, published in, this, in these proceedings. And Hout and Taylor was one of the pioneers in, in working on compact Riemannian manifold without boundary. Maybe the one the pioneer. 75. The case of the semilinear wave equation, as in present article, also attracted the attention of many researchers. However, most results assume that the dump is either linear, according to this reference, or linearly bounded, according to this, this reference here. The, the case of uh, linear linear bounded, you can call the de Mans, maybe one of the pioneer papers in dealing with, with this P not crossing five in dimension three. The Mans Lebons was that uh, they work in the whole RN also in this range. Jory Lohan also in the same range, but they use, they use a strong analytics, analytic uh, unit continuation property. Lohan that work in, in Riemannian manifold. He is a key with the, the five, if I'm not wrong. Mitsuhiro, there are other papers like Mitsuhiro Nakao and Zuazun Communication PD, Nakao and Mathematics. More recently, Domingos Cavalcante, Foucault, and the Nippon Pui, Maria Sutil, myself, we publicate uh, nonlinear duck by subcrit subcritical in the nonlinearity. The main goal, 
In the present work, we generalize the well-known results management on the subject to a considerable large class of dispartive effects that are not necessarily linear or linearly bounded, as I mentioned to you. Moreover, you give effective decay rate estimates depend on the growth of, of the rate of the feedback at infinite. Our work in particular extends the results of Jolie Laurent that put rather strong analyticity assumptions on the linear source. Here you have the energy associated with our problem. You have the kinetic part, the potential one, the nonlinear part of the energy. In order to obtain the uniform stabilization of, our, of the linear energy associated with our problem, two ingredients are essential in the proof. The first one, the energy identity. The second one is nonlinear observability inequality. We took these two ingredients, we are able to prove uniform decay rate estimates by using the method developed by Lazeska, Tartaro, and other colleagues, like Daniel Tundikov, Mohamed Hamar, Lorena Bosch, and so on. The approach based on the above gradients is a well-known strategy in stabilization theory. See, for instance, that this paper that I told you of a Sardinia, Dominus Cavalcante, for Coffee Pampu, Deman, this reference I call to you. These papers work directly on the original problem. This is the main, the, the, the main, the main problem. All these papers in the literature work directly on the original problem and use a unique intonation argument as a crucial ingredient for proving the observability inequality. However, the, the direct approach has a challenge that was explained by this paper of the Man Le Bon Zouazua as follows. At first, one argues by contradiction uh, that the observability fails and thereby obtains a sequence of suitable normalized solutions violate the desired inequality. Then via passage to the limit, one gets a function O that satisfies our problem and that derivative of the is small omega is zero. The goal is to show that our solution has a unique solution and it's zero because this would mean that the only solution of our main problem without dump is a zero solution, which is an absurd. To this end, we can differentiate in time in the distributional sense. Now we obtain W zero in small omega. Now when I get the derivative, my same linearity transforms a potential. So when you work directly with your opponent, this nonlinearity is aggressive, so the potential is aggressive as well. Usually, this is the main problem we have seen in the literature. The next steps then to apply a unique continuation argument to a book problem that has a lower order potential to deduce that W is zero. This would imply that U is time independent, and therefore, U becomes the solution of a stationary similar elliptic problem whose solution is certainly zero thanks to the right sign of the nonlinearity. Some unique continuation results assume rather strong integrability conditions for the potential are available in the literature. This is also amazing paper due to Lucard, Shuzang, and Zuazu, who is Koch and Tataro, also Tataro and Shuzang. Part of these results, mainly the works of Kogi Tataru, also who is, for our surprise, these results are only valid locally. However, none of them directly apply to the given class of nonlinearities because of the less restrictive assumption on the power index. The main difficulty explained above with the direct approach was treated 
in this paper I mentioned by unraveling hidden regularity properties associated with the potential of prime of view. In the case of the domains R3, to handle the same difficulty on a general domain, we first introduce a sequence of three creative problems rather than a direct working with the original one, where FK is defined like this one. Such truncation were previously used in this paper of Lazeski and Tatata. You are borrowed this in our, in our joint work. Once we, we show that for each K, UK possesses a strong regularity, then you can spot additional regularity properties of the nonlinear term of K of U by utilizing with less strictest estimates that are valid for solutions of the supercritical sub wave equation. So another, another thing we gain is you can apply strictest estimates for the integrated problem, obtain a, a solution in a better place. Next, the ellipticity on the domain small omega times zero t and the property of propagation of singularities provide a desirable regularity for the solution UK truncated and integrability, integrability for F prime of UK. Only then you can use the unicontinuation result cited above. Since the sequence of problems converges to the original problems, it is sufficient to obtain the energy identity and the observability and equality for each truncated problem. The same property as well as the decay remain valid. So, summarized in one shot, you solve the problem. You obtain the, the observability inequality for the truncated problem as well as the energy identity. So, pass it to the need to obtain the desired. This is the, the idea I want to pass to. An advantage of the present approach is that you do not need to consider the well known. A linear proper property of a linearization due to Sheha, which roughly speaking guarantees that same linear supercritical solution is asymptotically close to the solution of the undaunted linear wave equation. This work uses the above approach to deal with a large class of dispersive effects, thus subsistently generalize the recent results of myself, as to Gidu, Valera, Foucault, and Pompou. Uh, okay, the, the observability of the truncate problem is a novel ingredient here, for which we target some microlocal analysis tools, such as microlocal defect measures that you borrow from Book and Gerhard. But before Homander and Dusmat, Dusterma, sorry, uh, described the propagation of singularities to a partial differential equation. PU is zero in distribution of sense in a domain without boundary. In particular, they defined the wavefront set of a distribution, the subset of the cotangent band in which singularities may move, and showed that wavefront set is invariant under the Hamiltonian flow, the principal symbol uh, Hamiltonian flow of P, small p, where small p is the principal symbol of the capital P. Later, Homander incorporated his book, you know, his magnum opus analysis of linear partial differential operator, chapter 24, volume three. That work remains a standard reference on the subject. It shall know nowadays that if P is proper, class capsule differential operator, and you use a distribution such, such that P is say infinite, then the wavefront sets a union of integral groups of the Hamiltonian of P. What I, 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 I am saying this, because inspired by works mentioned above, Buk Sheha, they proved an analogous result related to a microlocal defect measure. It's also a invariant subset, a Hadon measure 
associate with a bound sequence H1 log, which is quickly converged to zero. Roughly speaking, the support of this measure is also invariant under the Hamiltonian float of the principal symbol of the differential operator P, which satisfies certain properties. In his theorem, their theorem, sorry, is the following one. Let capital P be a self-adjoint differential operator of order M. In our case, M is two, the wave operator, the Dalambertian. Posed on an open set capital omega, M let UN be a bounded sequence in M2 lock, weakly converging to zero, with a microlocal defect measuring. Suppose that P, P of UN converges to zero in H minus M plus one lock. In our case, H minus one lock is enough for the wave equation. Then the support of me is a union of curves of this normalizing the second variable, which is a new by characteristics of, of the principal symbol of my operator. Though this is a wonderful result in order to propagate the kinetic energy for the damp air to the undamped one, as I showed you. We shall first consider the following sequence of approximate problems truncate the problems, as I told you. This is my truncation function. It's not difficult to see that these, these functions are lip sheets. So in terms of the uh, solvability, it's, it's, well, it's easy to, to see. I have a locally lip sheets operator plus the maximum monotone one. So using the results of Shreshov and Lazist, in fact, an appendix, the first place I, I found the result, and also Barbu books, we are also, you are able to prove for this operator A, according to this domain, joint everything, you are able to prove the result of uh, well, possessedness for regular and weak solutions as well. Okay. So take uh, initial data in, in the phase space. Since this operator is dancing in the phase space, there is a sequence approaching the initial data. So for each key, our, our truncated problem possesses this regularity. Multiply the main equation by U, U cap prime and perform integration by parts, we obtain the energy. The derivative of energy is non-positive. Non so the energy is, is, is roughly speaking decreasing or no increasing. We also have the identity of the energy. Work with the, the primitive of the truncated function. You have this expression. It is boundless. From which you obtain this. Now you obtain subsequence enough after passing to the limit. You can put first in the distributional sense. Observe that that key should be my damping term, but it remains to prove it. Assume that you have these guys in a, in a better place, you have this, the, the, the equation also in a better place. If you use uh, the Osmagini's book, this is scalarly continuous. But the one, you need more, you need to prove it and also the continuity of the functions. And exactly in this point, you use ideas of Lazarus and Tataro, this nice paper. But now, taking advantage of the stretches estimates, you do the following. 
you get uh, uh, stricture semis of Blaise Smith to Soch, published in Poincare 2009. And after easy computations, you show that UK is bound in L5, L10, and also L4, L12. Okay. The, the next step is to prove that F, FK of UK converts strongly to FU in L1 and L2, as in last year's Kitataro paper. So the idea is this, the same, to divide into two, into two guys. The first one is to prove that FUK converts to FU. In this case, use uh, Simon Banyon's theorem and interpolations is not difficult. This is the worst case. I will show very quickly. In the easy part, I have this growth condition. You can use a holder uh, inequality, generalize it. And from the above, you can prove that this guy goes to zero using compactness and boundness of this, these guys. The difficult part ah, is to prove this. To prove this. FK, FK converts to FUK. To this end, we borrow from Nazis Quintataro this set. Observe that inside for UK less or equal to K, you have the FUK. Fk of k is equal Fuk, so the difference is zero. So perform some integrations, and you have this growth condition on the difference, and it's safe to prove that this guy goes to zero. But it's not difficult to prove after these computations. Very simple to Lazeski Tatar, but observe now I have minus five. I never go beyond five in dimension three. So everything is done. Now you can have the Cauchy difference. Observe that this guy goes to zero strongly in L1, L2. If this guy is bound in L infinite, Add it to. So everything is done. You have this convergence and this one, as well as it's not difficult to prove that Q is A of J U P. Joint everything, you have the well-posedness of our problem, our weak have a weak solution in this class. The uniqueness uh, follows the same argument you have proved, you have proved uh, the energy identity is also valid for weak solutions. And the uniqueness, uh, you, you can use the same result of my paper for modularity. You have proved the uniqueness there. Uniform decay rates. In this case, uh, the idea is to work out of if it's for zero, the inequality is trivial. Out, so you you will work out uh, out of zero. So if you assume that this not hold by contradiction, you obtain a sequence that goes to zero. Since the, the denominator is bounded, I will assume this, denominator goes to zero. From this I have, a, a, from the boldness of the initial data, I have this convergence.
So I divide into two cases, UK is difference of zero, UK is zero. For the case, the trivial case, I pass to the limit, the dump disappear. I get derivative in time as usual. Then I use a unit condensation property. If look in our case, these functions, yes, add infinite, add infinite. You give a contradiction. The worst case of k, k is zero, you again get subsequence and wake starting strong limits. You normalize the problem as usual by the energy, square root of the energy. You have that this guy goes to zero. I have the sequence of normalized problems. Here you have the relationship between small f and the primitive and the new energy. It's not difficult to check that the energy of the my normalized problem is zero is one. So in order to achieve a contradiction, you make to prove that energy of V is zero is zero. So this contradicts this. Well, how, how to prove this? You have again, weak and strong convergence, the same argument. You pass to the limit of the ion continuation property. I have also this nice uh, uh, inequalities. Now is all, uh, now we are going to apply micro local analysis. How? Observe that the Lambert, the Lambertian of my normalized problem V is equal to this quantity. Both of them, both of them goes to zero. This one goes to zero in L2, and this one also, because by contradiction. From which you, you get derivative in time of the Dalabertian. So the derivative in time of this guy goes to zero in eight minus one log. It's exactly the space of, of Gerard and Burke. Once I have the convergent, the convergent eight minus one log, I have all things. What are the things of the theorem? Let me be a microlocal defect measure associated to our problem. If you have this convergent in eight minus one log, the support of me is contained in the characteristic self of, of the wave operator. Our wish is to propagate this convergence for the area you have dumping to the area you, have, you don't have dumping. So, V propagates along the bi characteristic flow of this operator, which signifies particularly a some point does not belong to the soup of me. The whole bi characteristic is to, from this point is out of support of me. The point that does not belong to the support is exactly the point where I have dumping. Once the support of me is empty set, the whole character is, I can propagate the kinetic energy to the whole by character. This is the magic of my local analysis. But you should also use multipliers if you desire. Here is the by characteristic. The second component is the geodesk of the metric in, in omega. So instead of to follow the by characteristic of the cylinder, you, 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 look, you look at the, the, its projection on, uh, on the on omega. So sometimes it's better to, to look at uh, the geodesk 
than the character the by characteristic. So we have the convergence in L2 lock, but you need the convergence in L2. How to proceed? I divide into two parts. You observe this is lock. This is lock. So I have this because of book Shaha, this goes to zero. And this also goes to zero. That's why I get the whole, the whole boundary in order to do this. Otherwise, you should have used this, the race of the geometric object to do it to Jostens and Strosens. Strosens and, and uh, to prove this is more complicated from the point of mathematics. So this is easy, more than didactic. Once I have now the, the kinetic energy going to zero, I can recover the potential by getting a cutoff function, multiply my equation by this. Once this guy goes to zero, this guy goes to zero, this guy is bounded, this guy goes to zero, this guy is bounded, this sum goes to zero. So I recover this. Once this guy also goes to zero, it's not difficult to prove that the primitive goes to zero. Joint with the energy identity, we are able to prove that our energy in zero goes to zero as well. Since my time is almost over, uh, I will pass quickly in this section. Uh, Combine the estimates at the origin and infinite. In this section, we developed our results based on these following articles. Domingo Gustavo Cantes Lazeski and myself, published in JDE 2007. Domingo Gustavo Cantes Fukuoka, Daniel Tudukov, and myself, published in Applied Mathematical Optimization. Lazeski and Daniel Tudukov, and myself, published in Transaction 2012. And also this nice paper, the white Lazisk and Daniel Tundukov. And also Lazisk and Tundukov. So if you, you combine all the techniques developed in this paper, I, 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 instead of showing computations, ah, uh, be careful because you need some uh, regularity additional on, on the dumping, on the UT, in the whole domain. If the order of G is less than one, I have to assume that UT belongs to this class. If it's G is superlinear, if it's G is superlinear, I, I need this to take this as granted. To finalize, I show you uh, two tables. This one, when the behavior, the feedback, let me put a small it. Greater. When the feedback is near the orange, it can be S, S a P, a power P, S a power theta, etc. I have this ODEs, and I have the exponential, polynomial, logarithm, and so on, the K weight estimates. In the other behavior, is far away from the orange. For instance, these two examples, my decay is poly, I solve the OD, and my decay is polynomial. If you join near in, uh, out of the orange, you have to obtain the worst decay because there is a competition near in and out of the orange. So this is the general idea of our joint work. Thank you very much for your nice attention. Thank you, Professor Marcelo. Any questions? Now we have some minutes for questions and comments. Marcelo, can I ask a question, please? This is Salim. Yes, yes. Oh, Salim, how, how are hey, you? Hi. 
Okay, thank you very much for this talk. Yeah, what do you think? Can you extend this also to some uh, viscoelastic equation, viscoelastic wave equation, where you have an extra damping coming from the uh, relaxation function or viscoelastic uh, term? You, you, you see, if I change the, the frictional damp for a viscoelastic one, is it? Yeah, uh, loca localized. Yeah, localized. Uh, 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 viscoelastic one, yes. No, uh, viscoelastic is a. It's a weaker damp than the frictional one. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think that's combining, uh, yeah. if you, you combine viscoelastic with frictional, it's possible. But just to, to lock out viscoelastic uh, is a, a weak damp. Okay. Weaker damp related to frictional one. I don't know if it's possible. I have to do the computation. <laughs> OK. okay. Thank you very much. I just no, yeah. yeah. Thank you for the question. Yeah. Nice meeting you again, <laughs> you and Valeria, Marina. Thank you. Hope uh, we meet next year. You know, face to face in Brazil or wherever. Ah yes. So thank you, Prof Professor Marcel. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.